اوكي بسم الله اليوم حيكون عندنا امتحان فرح نقرا سلايدات ريسك uh, اناليسيس من سلايد 1 لحد سلايد 7 او 7 ان لانه في عندنا 2 7 طيب the role of the information security manager اللي هو احنا uh, انه إنه لازم نعمل prevention للloss, fraud, data breaches, demonstrate regulation compliance, manage security policies, ensure business continuation, plan incident and disaster response, prioritize security initiatives. طبعا I'm just reading the slides لأنه there's a limited budget available and security manager must choose. I'm just reading لأنه هذه سلايد 1 فنسبة إنه يجيب من سلايدز 1 قليلة ف we're just gonna quickly read the security initiatives there are several approaches to prioritizing security initiatives for funding عندنا ال audit results technology compliance security risk it's useful to ask the following question. How do you demonstrate that your initiatives are addressing the largest security risks to your organization's assets to management? Okay, so we want to ensure a quality information risk assessment. Taban, we need a good team. So to answer the previous question, uh, if security decisions are based on risk, the quality of risk assessment is critical. Weak assessment can lead to false conclusion and increased security risk. Information security risk assessments should not be performed to simply satisfy a requirement. I'm a Okay, it should be performed in a professional manner that provides accurate results. So we rely on the professional manner to conclude our objectives. Okay, uh, the role of a security risk assessment, the SRA, the SRA is part of overall security risk management process. SRA, security risk management, ensures that the security risk posture of the organization is within acceptable bounds. There are four stages, because you can never remove the risk, you can just bound it. There are four stages in the security risk management process. We have four. Security risk assessment, then we test and review, then we mitigate uh, according to the results, and then we operate. So the definition of SRA is the probability determination of asset loss based on asset valuation, threat analysis, and an objective review of current security control effectiveness. Uh, security risk assessment tasks. So we have to analyze the effectiveness of the current security controls and we determine the probability of losses to the assets protected by the current security controls review the organization's threat environment and asset values, the system criticality, security controls, vulnerabilities, and the expected losses impact. Okay, and provide recommendations for additional security controls to reduce the risk and pass this information to senior management. So we have the test. Okay, so Hadi is security risk assessment tasks. Uh, 
هذه هلا احنا تست اند ريفيو وي اكزامين ذا سكيورتي كنترولز اجينست ذا سكيورتي ريكويرمنتس وي تست اني نمبر اوف سكيورتي كنترولز سو وي هاف فيزيكال كنترولز وي هاف فولنربيليتي سكانر سوشيال انجينيرنج سكيورتي تيستينج is typically performed more frequently than security risk assessments. هلا عنا التالت تاسك اللي هو المتيجيشن and in here we have to implement new security controls or we have to improve the current security controls and decisions are made by senior management security test and review efforts provide information on how to keep existing controls up to date and now we operate so for the operation we have the implementation and operation of most security controls and includes daily weekly activities مثلا patches applying patches is one security control performing account maintenance is another security control and providing security awareness training مثلا could be done weekly or monthly they are essential for maintaining an adequate security posture Why do we need SRA? So it has benefits because it provides a review of the organization's current implementation of information asset protection, the best to be performed by an objective party, and it provides a periodic review of the information security program and it's very important as the information security landscape is always changing and changes in the organization could also affect the security goals so how do we ensure the risk or time so changing of the threats and environment increase the risk over time Yani, it's always changing. It promotes risk-based spending. So, the meaning of this is that when it increases risk, it increases the cost. When it increases risk, it increases the cost. And this is a good thing because we don't want to increase the price. We want to pay a lot for the low cost, or the opposite. We want to pay a lot for the high cost. قصدي ندفع قليل للهاي ريسك otherwise resources may be allocated based on convenience existing familiarity interest دا دا دا. يعني الشركة ممكن تكون غنية وتقول خلص بكيب مصاري على السيكوريتي ريسك من, من غير ما يعني يعني مش مش صح مفروض هو يحط المبلغ بس المطلوب ما يقلل ولا يزيد يعني this is normal usually it's the case it is a requirement of a security program according to multiple information security regulations فهي مهمة لأنه it complies with some regulations زي HIPAA, CIP and many others now we have other benefits secondary we transfer of knowledge from the security assessment team to the organization staff we increased communications regarding security among business units so we have transfer of knowledge and more communication about the security increased security awareness and Within the organization, the assessment results may be used to, uh, as a measure of security posture and compared to previous and future results.
so في عنا ال security risk assessment هون this is what we're studying and this is other other testing types so the security risk assessment is better than vulnerability scan and penetration testing for the organization in terms that it gives an analysis a total organizational analysis and for the policy and procedure is that it reviews them and for the architecture is that it reviews it and for the applications is that uh, it's better than the vulnerability scan because it finds the common mistakes and performs ad hoc testing and side effects uh, for the applications. Penetration testing also does this, but it does not perform. Uh, actually, it's, it's the same. So it's security risk assessment is, is the same for external and, in, in, and internal functions of the so internal external uh, uh, functions okay so all of them are the same they scan for known vulnerabilities and Security awareness, we have the penetration testing, we have social engineering. But in the security risk assessment, we also have assess security awareness. And for external models, we have uh, war dialing for the penetration test. But here we have also configuration review. So here are the definitions, like for gap assessment. We review security controls against a standard. Okay. Security controls against the standard. For compliance audit, we verify that all required security controls are in place. Security audit is we verify that specified security controls are in, are in place. In high, it's more specific. Hi, الفرق بينها إنه specified penetration testing is a methodological met, sorry is a methodical and planned attack on a system security controls يعني زي ال white hacker white hat hacker vulnerability scanner is an element of penetration testing that searches for obvious vulnerabilities. So the gap assessment is a review of security controls against a standards and compliance audit is a, it verifies the you know, audit fiha verify all required security controls are in place security audit is audit is verified that specified specified so high specified security controls high all required security controls so when all of them then we comply a uh, security audit is more specific penetration testing is a planned attack and vulnerability scanning is a search for vulnerabilities tamam hala the purpose of gap assessment Uh, it provides list of controls required to become compliant. يعني أهم شيء compliance في the gap assessment. وكمان هنا عندنا compliance. فهنا we we um, we have a standard. We need to comply. تمام. So the difference is that Hona, it, we have a list of controls required to comply. Hona, we have 
organization's compliance with a standard. In uh, audit, we have a test. In audit, Hona, we have a test again. An organization's adherence to industry standards. So hi, it's more specific. We can see we have an industry standards. Hona, just a standard. Hona, just a standard. Penetration testing is to test adequacy of security controls in place. Or test for existence for obvious vulnerabilities in the system security controls. Okay, so hi, Nafs Awal. Bereed, Bereed. شرح ال gap assessment اللي هو comparison between the exist what exists within a corporation and what is required. Usually, gap assessments are associated with specific criteria. Okay, and uh, they compare the existence of security policies, procedures, mechanisms, activities against the required ones. There is no measure of security risk in this assessment and typically performed at the beginning of the organization's compliance pursuit with a standard or regulation and does not require verification of findings. So, Mafi have verification of findings, Mafi have security risk assessment. Compliance audit, um, it's time to attest uh, to the organization's compliance with a regulation or standards. A more in-depth review is required. All findings must be verified. I have الأحمر عشان هنا ما في verification. And the review of the security awareness training program would be followed up with a review of employee training records and a employee interviews a compliance audit still does not result in a measure of the security risk to the organization's assets so still mafiha measure of security risk assessment it is an objective review it's an objective review of the organization's compliance with a security standard security audit who also a verification that specified uh, security controls have been properly implemented according to organizational security policies and procedures or industry standards so in industry standards, security audits can be quite vigorous and may require complete verification of all findings. Many information security standards have associated assessment standards that specify the degree to which the assessor must analyze the data, sample the controls. Um, Do not typically perform security risk assessment. There is no analysis of effectiveness of the current security controls. Vulnerability scanning is to test the external or in internal interface of a system in order to identify obvious vulnerabilities, it involves vulnerability scanning tools that generate automated reports, are constantly updated and as the landscape changes. Automated reports often include several false positives. A more in-depth analysis is required to identify or remove them. 
penetration testing هي attempt to penetrate defenses of an organization in order to demonstrate the effectiveness of the current security controls it's a white hat hacking and follows after the vulnerability scanning ad hoc testing may also be performed by experts with the uh, with many years of experience it looks for less obvious vulnerabilities more of an art than a science social engineering is an assessment of the security training policies and procedures involves attempts to gain authorized unauthorized access through the human element uh, either through physical access or from stealing the passwords or by phishing it varies each time